Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of What CD Is Rob Listening To Now? And today, I'm not technically listening to a CD, it's a Blu-ray uh, of the Neil Morse Band's uh, Morse Fest 2020 lockdown show. Um, and I'm going to move on to, uh, what is it, 2015 uh, next. I don't know where I put it, but it's over here somewhere. But anyways, let's talk about this one. The reason I'm uh, on another Neil Morse kick, and it doesn't take much for me to get off and on to a Neil Morse kick. I think he's probably my favorite musician, even though Rush is my favorite band, and Neil Morse is my favorite musician. Uh, I think he comes just behind... Uh, I swear it's going to be tied with Dream Theater at this point, all of the uh, projects that Neil Morse is in. Uh, but we're going to specifically talk about this one. This is uh, the Morse Fest Lockdown 2020 show. The story behind this was, uh, I think you all remember how uh, fun 2020 was with all the uh, COVID and coronavirus and drinking fish tank medicine and all that shit. Um, in between or during all of that, uh, Neil Morse and the band still wanted to do their Morse Fest, and I'm glad they did. Um, now, when it was originally done, it was uh, there weren't as many people at the show as there had been in years past. This was the first time this was streamed online, and um, initially we were never going to get uh, this on a physical media. Uh, but thankfully, from what I read, Mike Portnoy kind of got his way. Eventually, they decided to uh, release this so that people could fill out their Morse Fest collection. And I was glad they did because, yeah, I hated seeing that I didn't have 2020, but I had all the other years. So I'm glad this one's here. And it was a fantastic show. I mean, just incredible. I think it was the pretty sure it was the only show that uh, the guys in the band uh, played that year. I know I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. I'm almost positive. It's the only one they played together uh, at any rate. Um, so anyway, what you got here is uh, two nights, as any Morse Fest would be. The first night is a night of covers, and man, they played some great covers. I mean, you have Where the Streets Have No Name from U2, Him 43 from Jethro Tull, uh, Jerry Rafferty's Baker Street, Come Sail Away from Styx. I mean, some great stuff, Live and Let Die from McCartney. Uh, uh, Ricky Don't Lose That Number, Stilly Dan is a great tune. Uh, Crazy Horses from the Osmonds, always uh, one of my favorite uh performances when the band pulled that one out um and oddly enough the only osmond song that i can sit through um you've got i'm free sparks from the who uh 25 or six to four from uh chicago and i think my favorite song of the night starless from king crimson from their um red album <clears throat> uh no starless was from starless and bible black i get the two mixed up Anyway, a uh, fantastic night. And then on night two, we're, free, we're first treated uh, with the first, well, not the first three parts of uh, thoughts. Yeah, the first three parts of thoughts. Thoughts is confusing, okay? So on here we have thoughts, thoughts part two, and thoughts part five. Because Neil thought that Spock's beard was going to do a song called thoughts part four. But what they ended up deciding to do, or part three. Anyway, what they did was afterthoughts. So on here, I... I feel like if Spock's Beard were supposed to be doing a part in between there, then shouldn't it have been Thoughts Part 4? Uh, but anyways, Thoughts 1, 2, and 5. There is no Parts 3 or 4. You should go back and do that, Neil. Come on, you got this. Uh, and then you get a medley of The Door and the conclusion from Sola Scriptura before the band uh, launch into the entire live debut of Sola Gratia, uh, the album that Neil finished that year uh, with uh, Mike and Randy, uh, Eric and... Uh, Eric and uh, Bill don't play much on the album at all, I think. Man, I can't remember. But anyway, it's a fantastic album, Solo Gratia, and seeing it live was just amazing. Seemingly Sincere was fucking phenomenal. Building a Wall was awesome. And by the time you get to Now I Can See and The Great Commission, I'm in tears every time. It gets me every time. And so was Neil. Uh, this thing was fantastic. Uh, there's some... There's a bonus feature of The Great Nothing, recorded in 2018, that uh, is almost worth the price of admission alone. I mean, uh, it's just phenomenal. Um, but anyway, I, I don't know if there are any more copies like this. I think he just did one initial run and then done. I could be wrong. Uh, the uh, artwork and the layout, uh, it's not my favorite sort of layout. Um, 
but I love the artwork. I don't know if I like the, uh, what is it, one, two, like three panel thing, uh, but uh, I think uh, Joel, who, uh, I can't think of his uh, last name right now, did the work on this. I think it looks phenomenal. It sits uh, really well with the rest of my Neil Morse collection. And, um, you know, and again, I'm so happy that they decided to release this because not only is it a phenomenal show, but it, it's, it's nice to fill in the collection. So anyway, until next time, uh, when I come back and talk to you about the live versions of Testimony and One, uh, this is Rob saying, doodles. And, well, why is it blurry? I don't know. Until next time, doodles. <laughs>